welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I am just now taking my snack break for the day. It's around two o'clock and I've been working all morning on a ton of different projects. I actually got up really early this morning. I got up at 6.10 went to my Pilates class, got back, did my Bible journal time, ended up making breakfast with Jason. We talked for a little bit and just drank our coffees. We have had such a crammed week with so many different exciting work projects that we are just really, really excited to work on, but it's been a little bit overwhelming. I like mentioned it on my Instagram stories, but I have been so swamped with the amount of stuff that I've been working on that are all amazing opportunities and exciting things that I really want to do, but I definitely have been wanting to film and like do the part of my job that I really love, which is being here with you guys. So I thought I would vlog today. Jay Waz and I are gonna go out to dinner tonight because we haven't had a date night this week yet. So we wanted to do that tonight. I ended up going by my PO box. So I've got a ton of stuff to unbox with you guys and share with you. But right now I'm taking a breather between all my emails this morning and my editing before we get into it. Just gonna sit by my koi pond for a bit, eat my snack and watch them. I also need to clean out the pond, get the leaves out. I wanna show you guys a new trick that I taught my koi fish. They literally eat out of my hand now. And I thought I would show you guys in this vlog because I can't believe it myself that you can actually train a fish to like come up and eat out of your hand. But that's basically all that's new. We've got a lot to do today and show you guys. Mostly a lot of unboxings from like Abercrombie, Missouri, and some other stuff from my P.O. box that I'm not really sure about. So hope you guys are excited for an unboxing vlog and then also just hanging out for the day. Okay, so I always like to start by cleaning out the leaves and knocking some algae down from the waterfall because the fish actually eat the algae as a main part of their diet. So I like to have them eating the algae because it's better for them than the fish food. But I do like to give them fish food in the summer because they're bulking up right now. This is like the time where they eat a ton and they're using a bunch of energy to grow. And then around fall and winter, they kind of chill out and stop eating. So summer's really when you want to like bulk up the fish not that you guys would ever need to bulk up any fish in your life, but you never know. Maybe one day you'll buy a house with a koi pond. But I want to show you guys how social they are now. They are seriously so sweet. I know it's weird to say that fish are sweet, but these little koi fish have become maybe my favorite part of the day. I love coming out here and feeding them and having them eat from my hand and they're just so peaceful. You just can kind of zone out and watch them. And it's so sweet. I don't even like bring my phone out here. I just like sit and watch them as like a break during the day. But they're all out right now because I just knocked some algae down from the waterfall. Hello. All right, are you guys gonna eat from my hand? So I've got their food here and I don't dump all this in. I don't feed them too much because I really want them to eat the algae. But we're gonna see if they eat from my hand. Okay, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. That was so fast. I was not expecting them to be that responsive. All right, here we go. Yeah, you want it? Oh, you all want it. Jay Waz refuses to feed them by hand. No, that's, so weird, that's, I know. It's for her. No, it's sweet. <laughs> they're little hogs. Oh my gosh, they're missing it though. Come on, y'all. There you go. Oh my gosh. Right, ready, guys? Go. No. Oh no. <laughs> They're animals. Oh, they got spooked. No, you guys are missing it. You're missing it. They're not very good at aiming. Oh, you're missing it. You're missing it. Come on. There you go. All right. can see Penny and then wait where did Louie go? Oh there's Louie. There's Louie. 
right, recently we discovered the best hummus on earth. It's the uh, everything Four, bagel. Yeah, Boar's Head everything bagel hummus whipped. With the pretzel chips. <laughs> This is our first time sitting out here in a while. It's been so freaking hot. It is still really hot. In the shade, it's not as bad. I don't know how Riley does it. <laughs> she just sits out here and bakes. Oh my gosh. It's our co-worker snack time. Okay, I am gonna be putting makeup on for the day at 3 p.m. It's whatever. Using some new products from Tarte and from Dibs. I got some new stuff in that I want to show you guys. So this is not new. I actually got this back in March. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Coverage Foundation. And I think this might be a little bit light for me. So I'm going to test it out and see if it is. I have been tanner than I have ever been in my life because we have this dang pool. And even though I like put sunscreen on and stuff, I still have been getting a little bit darker than I've, I really wanted to. So I've been mixing in these Cover Fix bronzer drops, like the tiniest little bit with whatever foundation I'm wearing. And it just deepens it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. These, I think I got these last year and I only use them like around the summer when I'm really tan, but it kind of helps from needing a darker foundation that I'm only gonna be using like two months out of the year. So I just mix in like the tiniest little bit of the bronzer drop and I feel like it just deepens the foundation like ever so slightly. It can get really out of hand with the bronzing drops. Like I've definitely done too much before, but I really like mixing the drops with sunscreen as well. So if I don't wanna wear foundation, I'll just mix in the bronzing drops with my sunscreen and apply it with my hands. And it just kind of makes my face the same color as my body, which is really great. So they're pretty versatile. Mix them with foundation, sunscreen, probably can mix it with a moisturizer as well. That's not too much lighter. I think that's okay. It's like a little bit lighter, but I'll put bronzer on and everything. I really like the coverage of this cause it's like a pretty medium coverage. And then I just take this brush, which is like really dense to kind of like buff it out a little bit. I haven't been using my beauty blender quite as much. I don't really know why. I kind of go back and forth between using that all the time and then never picking it up. But I've been like basically applying it with a brush like this and just getting a very even coat all over my face and then going in with something really dense like this and like patting it out to give it a very natural finish so that there's no streaks or anything like that. It's a very strange technique, but it's what I've been doing and it works. Pretty damn well. I feel like using this brush too at the end just picks up any additional product that might have like clumped up together. For concealer, I'm using the Ilia Beauty True Skin Serum Concealer. I've been really, really liking this concealer because it doesn't show up cakey when you apply it. This is in the shade, hmm. I don't actually know, but usually I'm like light medium in concealers and foundations. Somewhere in that like light medium range, except for right now I could be almost medium, I think. So I'm not gonna actually set my face because the cloud coverage foundation is not dewy. So I actually am not like super, super oily or shiny. I might take like whatever is left from yesterday and do like my forehead. It's kind of how I've been doing it. Like I'll use whatever leftover powder I have, but I haven't been like mattifying everything as of late. My blush and bronzer, I'm gonna be using one of the new Dibs Beauty Sticks. So this is a bronzer and a blush in one. If you guys watched one of my previous makeup videos, I talked about Dibs Beauty because I'm obsessed with this brand. Their cream formulas are so, so good. So it's a bronzer on one side, blush on the other. I have shade number three, number four, and I think number one is the other one that I have. So I'm gonna be using, gosh, this is what happened last time. Their fonts are so tiny. This one is BK Vibes, is this bronzer stick. And this one is actually a lighter bronzer, but these are so, so creamy. You can apply it like to your face, like a contour, and then take a brush and buff it out. And they are just so creamy. They like melt into the skin. I feel like honestly, the bronzer, well, and the blush formula is a lot like the Rare Beauty stick bronzer. Just really, really creamy and super blendable. Sometimes I'll actually take my brush onto the product and like apply it that way as well. But it just looks so natural. And like healthy, makes your skin look really, really healthy. 
And then for my blush, I'm just gonna use the other side. This is a really fun blush. It feels very summery to me. And I like to warm it up with my finger like this. Kind of get it in the areas that I want it. And then I will blend it out with the brush. Sorry, that light that keeps turning on is my mirror light. And it's like motion sensored. So if I get close enough to it, or my hand gets close enough to it, it turns on. But how pretty is that? It's just like so soft and glowy. It's really, really pretty. You can also blend all these out with your finger, but I don't know. I always kind of use a brush. The highlight that I'm using is one of the Super Shock highlights from ColourPop. I got this during my Pet and Pup staycation, which I'll link that vlog down below. But I have one of these already. This is just a new shade. This is in the shade Lunch Money, and it is like so such a beautiful intense highlight i don't even know if like this light is gonna pick it up but it's a really really pretty kind of like strobe highlight so you have to be really careful with these because it can get out of hand but i'm just going to tap it onto my nose and the upper cheekbone on my eyelid as well so underneath the brow now i'm going to do my eyeshadow i can't remember if i shared this palette with y'all but this is the urban decay naked half baked palette which is this really pretty bronzy orangey gold palette and so i'm gonna do my eyeshadow using this and i'm gonna take a mixture of this and this shade right here and just do this like all over the lid and it's really, really pretty. And I honestly bring my all over lid color pretty high. And then I'm gonna take this dark shade right here and just do the outer corners. All right, last step, lip products. And I feel like so many brands have released lip products. And when I mean, I feel like I know so many brands have launched entire new lines of lip products recently. I've gotten some in from Laura Mercier, from Tarte, from Rare Beauty, from Bare Minerals. There are so many lip products being released this summer. I feel like last summer was all cream blushes. I remember every brand launching a cream blush right within like a few months of each other. And right now, lip products are the thing. So Tarte Cosmetics, you guys know I talk about Tarte all the time. I'll have a discount code that I'll put down below in the description box. They have this like one iconic juicy lip lipstick there's like an original there's a plumping one and now there's an actual lipstick and a lip cream and they sent me the full line each i'm only gonna go through my top four shades from both just to give you guys a rundown of what i really like but one of them is like a full-on full coverage lipstick and then the other one is more of like a balmy lipstick so it's a little bit more sheer a little bit more comfy but i wanted to show you guys my favorite so we're gonna start with the lip crims. First shade, peachy pink. This one is like a nude brown and it's still sheer so you can see skin through it. However, it's super buildable. It's really, really comfy. I'll actually apply this one. You can see what it looks like, but it's so hydrating. Like it has a lot of that like moisture in it that a lip balm would have, but you're still getting a really, really pretty color. So this one's peachy pink. Next up is mauve. You guys know I love anything mauve. So this one does not come as a surprise. This is mauve right here. It's a little bit more cool tone, purpley undertones, really creamy formula though. Good color payout. I'm obsessed with Tarte lip products. This is Soft Rose. It's like a really pretty neutral, nudie brown. Really, really comfy too. Super hydrating. Of course, I always show you guys like all the lame kind of neutral colors, but that's just what I typically gravitate towards and what I find myself wearing the most. This is the shade Deep Pink. And I really love this one because if you apply it really lightly, it's just like a really pretty kiss of color. So. Those are my top four shades from the lip cremes. There's also like two other shades that I would highly probably recommend as well. I just wanted to keep it down to four. The lipsticks are all, I think these are satin formulas. So this is the shade Buffed Pink. And where do I want to do this? Maybe on my arm. Okay, Buffed Pink here. Yeah, it looks more of like a satin finish but it's still really, really pretty. And I love the holder for these lipsticks because you can get really precise with these. I just love this whole line from Tarte. This is the shade Rosy Brown. Really, really pretty, kind of like brick color. Gorgeous. And these two, you can kind of wear a little bit more sheer, like if you kind of pat it on the lips, 
and don't go for like a full coverage lipstick look, you can make these a little bit more sheer. This is the shade Orchid, which is this really pretty, pretty pink. And I accidentally dropped this one. So please excuse how messy this one is, but this is Orchid. It's gorgeous. And then the last one is Rose. And these are all just like really beautiful neutrals. So this is Rose right here. Gorgeous wearable shades. They are way more bold than the lip cramps. You can kind of see these ones are a softer, more diffused look. These are a full on lipstick, but I think we can say now that this line at Tarte, there's something for everyone now. So those are my favorites from those. If you're not familiar with the other ones, I'm just want to show you really quick. So this is the like original, original. This is the Juicy Lip. And my favorite shade from Juicy Lip is the coconut shade. I just think it is so, so pretty. And these are like almost like a lip gloss, but in a solid form. Like you are getting high, high shine, a ton of moisture, really, really pretty sheer color. And then earlier this year, I think around like March or April, they released this one, which is the plumping version. And this one, there's a, there's not as many shades. This one is in peachy beige that I really, really like this shade. Another really pretty neutral. Same exact feel, but with some plumping in it. So it makes your lips a little bit more tingly, a little bit more full. And I just really like these. And now I feel like they've covered everything. And obviously a lot of really great wearable shades. So I'm gonna wash this off. But I wanna show you guys. All right, definitely just gonna leave my hair like this. I've been just wearing it up in a claw clip because it's so dang hot and I want it off my neck. I wanted to show you guys the new Abercrombie stuff that I got in because there's so many cute pieces. And if you somehow are in the mood to start shopping fall pieces, I'm gonna show you some really cute fall pieces. <laughs> okay, first up are these jeans, which I love. I actually have these same jeans in two other washes. I have them in white and then a lighter blue as well. These are the 90s ultra high rise straight jean. They are in short. So even though they're short, they're technically a longer style. They have these in a ankle version as well, which I'll show you guys next. But these ones are the full length version. I love the way that these look with heels mostly. So even though I got them in short, they're still a little bit longer to where they cover the ankles. So they make your legs look really, really long and they are so flattering on. I've got it paired with this tank from Abercrombie as well. This is a little like satin cami and it's got elastic in the back. So super, super comfy. And this is actually really great to layer underneath a cardigan or an overshirt, which I'll show you guys next. But I love this olive green color and I think it would look so cute underneath some kind of like beige cardigan. So this is a really cute top to throw over it. It isn't a button down, so you can't actually button up all the way. It has two clasps here in the front, which I'll show you guys once I can get two hands, but I really like wearing it open as well, especially over the green tank. I think it's so cute like this, kind of worn casually. You could throw on with like a pair of sneakers. This top is sheer, so you can definitely see through it, but that's why I think it looks really good with some sort of like silky cami or something like that. And it actually comes in brown checkered as well. And I think black and cream. So it comes in a few different like combinations, but I really love this funky green pattern. I think it's, it's obviously so different than anything that I have in my wardrobe, but it's still a color that I can wear really comfortably. Okay, this is what it looks like buttoned. It's very early 2000s, especially with the claw clip. It's a whole mood going on. I also have on green shoes, which are from Alohas, but I've been living green lately. I think it's just a really fun look. You could throw it on with some kind of like baguette bag or shoulder bag, and it's just a whole vibe. So I will have everything linked down below as well as my sizes. I have other pieces to show you guys, but in case there's anything that you're interested in, I'll have links for you guys down below. So this is another new arrival from Abercrombie and it's a really great shirt to throw over tanks. I love this material. It's this really fun pleated material. It also comes in a beautiful rusty red color, which I think would be so stunning. I went with the cream though, cause I could see myself wearing the cream one more, but you can also button it all the way up and like tuck it in with your pants. So there's a lot of ways that you can wear this top. I just really, really love the material of this, but I just really like it as an overshirt over a tank. This is what the top looks like tucked in. 
and I think it just looks so cute worn like this and then you could even like unbutton it and have the tank that you're wearing like showing through it but I just think this is so cute with the claw clip and denim you could also throw on with sneakers or sandals but I really like that you can wear this a bunch of different ways you can also wear it with the sleeves unrolled all right we are getting into cardigans now and this one actually comes as a matching set with this knit tank so isn't this tank so adorable it's got this little twist in the front and i've just got it on with sticky boobs it's cropped but it's long enough to where it can kind of tuck into your high-waisted jeans and then it comes with this really adorable matching cardigan in chocolate brown which i have been so obsessed with this specific shade of brown recently. I just think it's so, so beautiful. So because they come together, you can wear the tank now, wear the sweater later, wear them together later when it gets cooler outside. And it also comes in a few different colors. This is a cow neck tank and it's this super, super stretchy black fabric. It is cropped, so it kind of hits right at the height of my jeans. It's crossed in the back, and because it is such a stretchy fabric, it's really, really comfortable to wear. I think it comes in a few different colors. I like the black though, because I feel like the black is really, really versatile. And then these are the ankle ultra high rise straight jean in the lightest wash. And you guys, this wash, is so comfy. Something about this denim is like super, super stretchy, really, really comfy, broken in feeling. So I love these. I think this would be so cute with a white sneaker. And then this top is also from Abercrombie. It's this little cotton v-neck tee with a split in the front. So it, the split comes like pretty high to where I don't think it could be covered by your jeans, but it's not like there's a ton of stomach showing. But I feel like these would look so cute with white sneakers. And because they're the ankle version, they show off more of your shoe. So this is my last Abercrombie look. Time to do a quick unboxing. You guys can also see our new little media console. And our TV came. I think it was maybe last week or the week before. I can't really remember. But we finally got rid of the cubicle and it looks so good. So we've got some art now up on our little frame. I got in some stuff from Missouri that I have yet to unbox because I wanted to open it up with you guys. I think it's just like a couple pieces, so I didn't want to do like a full video on this, but I definitely wanted to share it with you because we all know y'all are Missouri obsessed as well. We've got a single Missouri box. And inside of the box here, we've got two little dust bags. Ooh, a new charm. So this little charm is a Pave star charm how adorable is that so i've got the w charm the mail tag charm the large one and then the pearl charm so i'm probably not going to add it to this one because i've got a lot of charms going on but i actually do not have a single charm on my bracelet here so this necklace and then this bracelet here is by far my favorite launch that Missouri has ever done because they don't launch a lot of chunky solid gold pieces but i've not taken this off since i got it and i get so many compliments on this necklace and it's one of those things that i'm like oh i wish that i could just point to the website and be like it's this but it's three i guess it's four separate pieces so you get everything separate and you can customize it exactly how you want it so you get the letter pendant you could get this tag or you could get a different one and then you could get different charms to basically make it your own but i always get compliments on this little stack here i've got the w for our last name but this is one of the other charms they have tons and tons of charms on their website and this is by far like my favorite launch that they've done i think this would also be so cute as like an anniversary gift where you could like add to it every year or like switch it out every year. Big fan of this launch if you couldn't tell. I also have worn it in like every single video since I got it. I really have been loving this one. But I think I'm gonna put this one on my bracelet here. Which I might need Jason's help because it's a lot harder to put one on the bracelet. Got it. Oh yeah, isn't she cute the little star? Cute as that, oh, I love that. That's so pretty. And then the other thing is, this really pretty ring. This is an eternity band with little baguette diamonds. This is the ring. It's got tiny baguette diamonds all the way around it. This would be a really pretty wedding band or just a stacker to add to your ring stack. How pretty is that? Love 
so 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 pretty also can fit on my middle finger the one like that as well next up i think this is a handbag that i've seen on instagram a ton and they reached out to me and they were like can we send it to you to open up in a vlog and i was like sure because i thought it was actually really cute so this one i really liked the hardware on it it's got this chunky gold hardware and then it has the strap that you can drop down and wear as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag and it's got one pocket, two pockets. Let's see, how does this open? Ooh, so this folds down like that. Not so cute though. It comes in like, I think like 10 colors. I really liked the beige though. And that's really cute. So I just thought that was adorable. And it's such a good size too. Kind of wear it with everything. So love that. This one is from Living Proof, which is a hairline. And it fell through the packaging here. This is Triple Bond Complex Hair Strengthener. So I think you put this in, you apply it to clean, damp hair. So yeah, right after you shower. Chicken was so good last time. All right, we were able to snag a table because we got here literally at five. All of their reservations were booked, so we had to like get here right when they opened in hopes that we could get in before the reservations all fill up because this place is super popular. This is Rolf and Daughters. We came here over a year ago and their sourdough bread with seaweed butter is so, so good. And they do all their pasta here in house and it's amazing. All right, we got the sourdough with the seaweed butter. Personally, my favorite thing here, we got two loaves of this last time. Also, inflation is real. This used to be $6, now it's seven. Yes. But they have more butter than last time. I remember it was a smaller dish last time, so a value. We got the beef tartare. The experiences we never forget <laughs> come on. from the crap that we buy. <laughs> Jeep wagon here. <laughs> Advertising is so dumb, anyway. <laughs> uh, we are currently on the couch, though, with Riley and our Stanley. My Stanley? Watching. Your Stanley's nowhere to be found, dude. I know, because I'm drinking coffee. Watching our moving process and the day that we got the house, because we're coming up on a year. Tomorrow, it's literally a tomorrow. year. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do a whole video, probably, about... All of that because we get really sentimental and really emo about things like anniversaries. But we've been watching the vlogs of us packing up the old place and like just seeing the old place and like hearing all the road noise and just so the chaos of all the boxes in the kitchen. <laughs> if you like haven't been around on my channel for more than a year, you don't really know what I'm talking about. But those vlogs, man, it just reminds you where you came from. It's awesome. Okay. But we're probably gonna spend the rest of the evening drinking decaf coffee. And then we're about to start the actual, like we got the house vlog. We just watched the ones of us packing up the old place. We're about to get into the vlog where we like actually get the keys and do a house tour. But it's so sweet. That's why we vlog so we can have all these memes. Thank you for giving me this absolutely chiseling Dude, angle. Dude, look at my jawline <laughs> right now. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm.